Many people feel that the music of Africa is primitive, but African music has a long tradition. It has developed over many centuries, and in its own way, is as complicated as the music you hear in concert halls. Today, we are going to learn something about the music of Africa. Since Africa is a very large continent, containing many countries, we shall concentrate on this part of Africa, especially on the country of Ghana. We are fortunate to have with us a master drummer from the country of Ghana, Mr. Robert Aite. Mr. Aite belongs to a tribe called the Ewe, which lives in the southern part of Ghana. Ms. Emerencia Tamaklo, who will be one of those assisting Mr. Aite today, also belongs to the Ewe. Mr. Oswald Obley is a member of the Ga tribe, while I myself come from the Kasina Nankani in northern Ghana. As you can see, a country like Ghana is made up of several different tribes, each speaking its own language and having its own music. The chief musical instruments of Ghana, indeed of all of Africa, are the rattles, the bells, and the drums. First, let's learn about the rattles and the bells. The rattle is made out of a gourd. Beats provide the sound. The rattle is usually not played alone, but is heard with other instruments. Let's listen to the rattle as it plays with the bell. In Ghana, both a single bell and a double bell are used. There are single bells which are high in pitch, and single bells which are low. Each double bell has a high sound and a low sound in one instrument. Another important kind of bell is called the toke. The toke is usually not played alone, but is used with singing and with other instruments. Rattles and bells are played on sad occasions such as funerals and on happy occasions such as weddings. Another very important family of instruments in Africa is the drums. In Ghana, 
There are two main types together by metal bands, much as a barrel is made. Drums are made in different sizes. Usually, large drums have a low sound, while small drums have a higher sound. The head of the drum is made out of animal hides, most often those of antelopes. When a drum is struck by the hand, it can make different sounds depending upon whether the hand strikes the center or the edge. Sometimes a drum is played by both hand and stick at the same time. Drums made out of single hollowed out logs are usually played with sticks. Sometimes, drums are played at home for the enjoyment of a family or while entertaining guests. This is often done on holidays. <laughs> In Africa, drums are not only musical instruments, they are also a means of communication. People talk to each other by using drums. Many African languages are based on high and low sounds. For example, when the Ashantis say, good morning, it sounds like this, machi, machi. The word has a low sound and a high sound. Machi, it can also be said by a drum that can beat both high and low sounds. Thank you, Mr. Ite. Mr. Ite has just told me you are welcome. This small drum is used for sending messages short distances. The pitch of the drum is changed by pressing on it. Mr. Ite is signaling a lion is near the village. Run, run! 
In former times, when lions were found in many parts of Ghana, children would run and hide when they heard this. When messages have to be sent long distances, larger drums are used. Because the sound of this kind of drum cannot be changed, more than one drum must be used to get a low sound and a high sound. The message Mr. Ite is sending is Ohine Niba. The chief is coming. See if you can hear the words Ohine Niba. Sometimes a message is sent from one group of drums to another a few miles away and then to another group of drums and then to another until the message is heard a long distance away. Poetry is also played on the drums. Often large groups of people gather together to listen to our poems. Instead of the poems being spoken, they are played on the drums. Let's listen now to a poem from the Ashanti tribe which is hundreds of years old called the path and the river. Since I'm sure that few of you understood the poem, Miss Emerencia Tamaklo will say each part in English, Mr. Obli will repeat it in Ashanti, and Mr. Yite will play it out on the drums. The path has crossed the river. The river has crossed the path. Which is the elder? We made the path and found the river. But the river was made from long ago. By the creator of the universe. Now let's listen to the entire poem again, played by Mr. Ite. instruments we have studied, the rattles, the bells, and the drums, are played together. To help play these instruments, our students who study here under Mr. Yite at the university, so that they too can learn about the music of Africa. The leader of the group is the bell. Everyone listens carefully to what the bell plays, because each must play his rhythms against the sound of the bell. Let's listen one at a time to all the different rhythms in a piece from the Ever Tribe about bravery in battle. Let's listen to all the instruments playing together. Notice how the rhythms played by each instrument constantly shift in relation to each other. It is the complicated rhythms that make African music so subtle and exciting.
In Africa, music is very important to us, and almost all of us learn to sing and dance and play our instruments. You've learned today something about the rattles, the bells, and the drums, and how they sound together. I hope you've also learned that our music, like yours, has a long tradition.